This summer, David Gilmour, the iconic Pink Floyd guitarist, made waves with a striking statement about his new solo album, Luck and Strange. In an electronic press kit, he declared that this album is the best album I've made since Dark Side of the Moon, since 1973. While this comparison may raise eyebrows, given the monumental legacy of Dark Side of the Moon, it underscores Gilmore's deep satisfaction with his fifth solo effort, his first in nine years. Despite his praise for Dark Side of the Moon, Gilmore admits that his favorite Pink Floyd album is Wish You Were Here. Nevertheless, his enthusiasm for luck and strange is palpable. The album feels like a solid body of cohesive work, Gilmore, 78, explains via Zoom from his unique Astoria recording studio housed on a houseboat on the Thames in London. It's the cohesiveness of the whole thing, the writing, the work, the thrill it still gives me to listen to it all the way through as an album. There's a consistency of thought and a feeling that runs through it that excites me in a way that makes me make those comparisons. This newfound creative freedom led Gilmore to work with new collaborators on Luck and Strange. He enlisted Charlie Andrew, a younger producer known for his work with LTJ and Block Party shifting from his usual collaborators like Phil Manzanera and Bob Ezrin. Andrew's fresh perspective was pivotal. His lack of being overawed by my reputation was a big plus for me, Gilmore notes. Andrew himself adds, I really wanted to understand what the lyrics were focusing on, and Polly has been an incredible help in that regard. Recorded primarily at Mark Knopfler's British Grove Studios, Luck and Strange Features. Contributions from renowned drummers Steve Gadd, Adam Betts, and Steve DeStanislau, keyboardists Roger Eno and Rob Gentry, and longtime bassist Guy Pratt. Despite its emphasis on themes of mortality and retrospection, the album's most poignant moment is its title track, which includes contributions from the late Richard Wright, Pink Floyd's former keyboardist. As Gilmore prepares for his first tour in eight years, beginning October 9th at London's Royal Albert Hall, he is focusing on a blend of old and new material. The tour will showcase selections from throughout his career, but will prominently feature songs from Luck and Strange. Gilmore expresses hope for a quicker turnaround for new material, aiming to gather his collaborators and continue the creative momentum in the coming year.